changing data with the update DML statement. We can update a single row, as shown in this example, where I'm going to update a category called concerts and change it to music concerts. The second type of update statement is an update statement which changes many rows at the same time. Here's an example of an update statement changing many rows. This update statement will actually change all the rows in the seating map table because there is no filtering where clause. It will change the standard price of all rows in the seating map table and multiply them by 1.1. The standard price in this case is being raised by 10%. This is the update statement syntax where we update a table and we set columns equal to values. The where clause filter will allow us to update either a single row or a subset of rows within a table. Removing the where clause altogether, we have no filtering. We would therefore update all the rows in a table, as in this example, updating the seating map table and changing the standard price. The heart of the update statement is the set clause. I can set a single column in the set clause, either to an expression, a subquery producing a single row or many rows, depending on how many rows I'm updating, the default for the column. I can also use the set clause to set multiple columns as a group to a multiple column subquery. The where clause in the update statement is also very important because it allows me to filter, as in update a single row, a subset of rows in a table, or the entire table by simply leaving the where clause out altogether. Once again, the returning clause is used to return values calculated in the update statement into variables, either as single variables or arrays. Let's go into some examples using the update statement. Firstly, let's update a single row. We know we have a category called concerts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to update the category called Concerts and change its name to Music Concerts. Let's check that. I've now changed the category called Concerts to Music Concerts. This statement updated a single row in the category table. Now let's go and update multiple rows. We'll actually update the show table, change the price multiplier, and simply avoid using the where clause. This will force this update statement to update all rows on the show table. And there we go. We've changed the price multiplier by multiplying it by 1.1. We've upped it by 10%. It's changed 152 rows, which is the count of the rows in the show table. So, the lack of use of a where clause has removed all filtering and updated every single row in the show table. Now let's do an example updating multiple columns in one table at once. Here we're going to update the two fields in the show table called name and show date and update them with a subquery which produces two columns, a multiple column subquery. We're actually going to change the name and show date fields for all entries in the show table where the show date is null. First of all, let's go and look for shows which have a null show date. Just to verify that we will actually get an update occurring. We have two rows, show IDs 17 and 27. 